In lesson three, we're going to reuse some of the concepts from uh, lesson one, such as the creation of the SQL Server database, the connection manager, and the database access layer. We're, we're going to create a disconnected data set on a Windows form using C Sharp. We're going to insert update delete data from a data set using C Sharp, and we're going to save reject those changes to a SQL Server database using C Sharp. In part one, we're going to create a new Windows form application. We're going to add a grid view and buttons to the form, add, modify, delete. And we're going to create and populate a disconnected data set by creating an adapter, creating a data schema, data set, data table, and data column. And then we're going to populate the data set. To create a new Windows form application, we'll click File, New, Project. Windows form, and we're going to call it Lesson 3. Let's start by changing the text to be Lesson 3. Let's change the name to Lesson 3. Let's add a label. Call it Companies. Let's add data grid view, which will list our companies. And then let's add our buttons. Let's add our connection manager and data access component. Let's remove the web parts. Change the namespace to be less than three. Let's add a reference to our system.configuration component, which is used in our connection manager to get the connection string. And let's add an application configuration file to store our connection string. Enterprise 4 and the connection string again open server explorer right click on your on your database properties Control A, Control C, 
and paste it in. So let's create a data error handler and method. So we click on the on the on the grid view and select the functions. Scroll down until we find data error and double click that. Within the function, we're going to go string message equals string dot format. So error in open brackets column in row e dot column index comma e dot row index comma e dot exception dot message and then we'll show that in a message box message box dot show message comma In the constructor, we're going to put in the data hand the event handler, data grid view dot data error. As well, we're going to create a class variable, a data set private data set we're going to call it company tracker data set the next thing we want to do is create a data adapter and we're going to do that in our data access component we're going to make it private static SQL data is going to return a SQL data adapter. It's going to be called create company data adapter. Create our, we're going to create our select statements, our insert, update, and delete queries. So it's going to be called get SQL equals select star from company another one called insert sql it's going to be our, our insert statement so insert into company company id company name company email company size values company ID company name company email Company size. 